Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. I'm going to be telling you all about the keratin treatment that I got done to my hair about three weeks ago. So if any of you out there have dry, frizzy, curly hair and you are looking for a treatment to get done that will help smooth that out and just make your hair nice and silky and shiny, then this video is for you. <laughs> so the treatment that I got done is the Goldwell Carousel Treatment. Now I've been doing research on different types of smoothing treatments for a while now, but every time I would read about one or watch a video on one, none of them really sounded that appealing to me. Like they sounded like they had more cons to them than pros. But I found out about this one recently at the salon I've been going to, and this treatment is actually the best one out there, I believe, the best one for your hair, and it's better and more improved in so many ways compared to some of the more old school treatments out there. What's cool about this one, unlike other treatments I've heard about, is you can kind of customize the results and choose what type of effect you want it to have on your hair. So the main thing it's going to do regardless is smooth out your hair, leave it silky and shiny and soft. However, if you have curly hair, you don't have to necessarily have your hair get super pin straight. I feel like a lot of the other treatments that exist, yes, they do smooth out your hair, but they're mostly meant to make your hair straighter. And I know there are some people out there that like their curls and they want curly hair, they just want them to be smoother and softer and less frizzy. So this is gonna get rid of the frizz, but if you wanna keep your curls, you can. You can completely keep your curls, or you can do something a little in between, or you can do the most extreme one, which isn't gonna leave your hair totally, totally pin straight, but it's going to really smooth out those curls and just leave you with like a soft wave, which is what I ended up doing. This is what my hair looked like a few weeks before getting the treatment done just naturally air dried, not brushed or anything like that. So 99% of the time when I would style my hair, I would blow it out straight the way it looks now. But in order to get these results, I would have to blow it out with like with a round brush and it just took a long time, it was time consuming. And then if I would go out and it'd be humid out, forget about it, my hair would like start to get frizzy again. On top of that, it just felt kind of dry from coloring it so often. But I love how quick and easy it is for me to do my hair now. I can let it air dry and it'll just be a really nice, soft, loose wave, not frizzy at all, super smooth and silky. Or if I want it to look like this, then I just blow dry it super fast. And I actually did it right before I sat down to record this, so I'll insert a clip of it. And I timed it to see how long it would take. My hair was actually pretty damp, so it took me under seven minutes to do the whole entire thing. And a lot of the times I let it air dry first before I blow it out, and it takes even less than that. Like it'll take me less than five minutes usually to do it and it's great. I don't even have to section off my hair. I can just do the whole thing, just kind of quickly run the brush through it and I'm not, I, I feel like I'm not damaging as much. I'm not applying as much heat, which is what I wanted. And I just can't believe that like this is what my hair is like and that it's so quick and easy and I can actually just let it air dry and it looks good and it's not frizzy for once. It's just amazing. The brand that makes this treatment actually has a channel with videos of stylists doing the treatment on different people with different hair types and different textures. So I'll have more information down in the description if you want to know a little bit more about you know, how it works and what it actually does to your hair and that kind of stuff. Basically what they do, again, I will have links to those videos so you can actually see the application process for yourself, but they apply the treatment to your hair kind of the same way you apply color, you know, same exact thing. Leave it on for about 20 minutes, then they blow dry your hair with the treatment still in it, and then flat iron it to seal it all in, and then they wash your hair, and then that's it. Now, unlike other treatments, because I've heard a lot of other treatments 
you have to wait 48 hours after getting it done and your hair is like totally totally flat and pin straight and you can't even like tie it up in a ponytail you can't wash it for 48 hours and so a lot of people would say that you know your hair looks really awful and awkward in that 48 hour period but with this one you can actually wash your hair right away you can put it up in a ponytail you don't have to wait another difference is that the fumes are not dangerous like other treatments. My stylist was telling me she used to work at a salon where they did I think Brazilian blowouts and they had to like the stylist had to actually sign a waiver when they started working there because of the Brazilian blowouts because I guess the fumes are just really bad and she said that there were multiple times she would do that treatment and she would get a nosebleed just from breathing in the fumes so yeah, that doesn't sound very safe. I will say though, the first day when I was first walking out of the salon, I was a little concerned because my hair felt very dry. It just didn't feel silky and smooth and soft. And I was like, did I just waste my money? Like, is my hair more damaged now than when I walked in there? What is going on? But after I washed it at home, oh my God, it was like unbelievable like life changing so just as a forewarning when you do get it done in that first day you might be like um what as far as how much it costs it is going to depend on how much hair you have you can see this is all my hair no extensions um i kind of have a lot of it but it's not super long or anything i believe the treatment costs me about two hundred dollars between 200 and 250 somewhere around there I think so I would say probably on average it's gonna cost you between 200 and 300 dollars which I know is kind of a lot however the treatment is supposed to last up to six months on average so I think just twice a year paying that I mean the amount of time it cuts out of your weekly routine it just makes your hair so so low maintenance so to me it is totally totally worth it now as far as maintaining it the only thing you need to be careful of is to not use shampoo or conditioner with sulfates in it because sulfates are going to strip the treatment out of your hair which is just going to defeat the whole purpose and the treatment does come with a shampoo and conditioner that you can purchase when you get the treatment done but my stylist told me as long as I'm using like a good quality salon shampoo and conditioner then I'm good so this is what I've been using for months now like since the fall this is the Redken frizz dismiss sulfate free shampoo and conditioner and then I've been using the smooth force lightweight smoothing lotion spray from the same line this is also heat protectant so this is what I use in my hair if I'm going to be blow drying it now the only two little cons which are super super minor but I thought I would just mention them anyway number one this I think is going to depend on how like absorbent your scalp is but the treatment itself smells a little bit funky a little it has like a little bit of like a sulfur kind of smell and so your scalp I guess can kind of absorb that scent and so when your hair is dry you don't smell anything it's totally fine it smells you know like your shampoo and conditioner but the first week or two maybe like the first week and a half I would say at least for me Anytime my head would get wet, like if I was sweating a lot or washing my hair, I would smell that sulfur smell and it was really gross. But it's only when your head's wet and then as soon as your hair dries, you don't smell anything at all. And again, that's only like the first like week and a half. So just wanted to put it out there just happens um, and then the second thing is I'm not used to I mean it's not like this is necessarily a negative it's just something I have to get used to obviously I'm used to my hair being frizzy and a little bit drier and curly and stuff so I could go like four days easily without my hair getting greasy and it would just look fine and whatever I could just wash it like once or twice a week no big deal but now that it's silkier and smoother and doesn't have that frizz I usually can only get away with like two days with it looking nice before I have to wash it again but because it's so easy to style it and whatever and I don't have to worry about like doing a whole 20-30 minute blowout um, I don't really mind having to wash it more often but it's just something I have to get used to I have been using dry shampoo more often to kind of add a little bit more body back into it and make it look a little bit cleaner and not as greasy like you know towards the end of day two or day three and the one I've been using is the Batiste 
Divine Dark for dark hair. This actually has color in it, so when you're spraying it in your dark hair, there's no white cast. So I think that that's basically everything. Like I said, I will have more information down in the description if you want to do a little bit more research on the treatment. If you have any specific questions or any concerns about your particular hair, I would go to a salon and ask a stylist who does this treatment. Another thing too that you want to keep in mind is it is a chemical process and if the person doesn't know what they're doing, they could potentially mess your hair up. So you want to make sure you're going to someone who knows what they're doing and has experience. Make sure that you do a little bit of research and you don't just go to any old place and you don't just look for the salon that offers it for the least amount of money. So yeah, I think that's basically everything. I hope that this video was informative and helpful for you guys. If you did like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And I also like it because it's more efficient. Like I'm working out really hard but it's kind of short and then it's over and I'm done and I don't have to be wasting a whole bunch of time going to the gym and yeah I think the longest workout in here is